hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a progress bar like this using canva so we're going to use canva to basically achieve this so i'm going to show you how to do this step by step with no step skip let's jump right into this so go to canva make sure you sign up onto canva and then just go to the video section you can click on video and then click on video from here up to this blank page you can you can press the letter R on your keyboard to add a shape or just go to element and it says for shapes. So when you go for when it says for shape, you should be getting something like you just click on all. Test for shape, this is what you're gonna get. You can press the letter R also to get a shape. So I can pick any shape from here. Let me just pick this and then we can just resize this. We want to create a progress bar. So what I'm gonna do is to just try to do this and then I can go to the settings option here. I can add a border to this. So you can see I can just apply some radius to this like this and then uh, first of all what i want to do is that i need to get some copies of this we're going to get three of this so the first one i want to do is to actually give some background color to this so i can actually give some color to this like this so if you look at the final way you can see i have this one so first of all let's try and create a duplicate so i'm going to create a duplicate and this duplicate i'm going to give just some ash color and then reduce the opacity a bit i'm going to reduce the opacity a bit for this particular one now i want to actually create another one create another duplicate so this is my second duplicate and with this one i want to actually give a border okay i want to give a border to this something like this that is perfect okay if you don't mind you can actually go with just two and that is cool you can just go with this so let me delete this and let's just go with two so that i don't confuse you but in this case i actually want to make the border white I want to make the border white but because the background is white you may not see that clearly but we are actually going to add some few information to this so what i want to do is that let's go back and look for shadow go back and look for shadow from here and i will search under graphics for the shadow we'll search it under graphics and then there are several shadow options you can pick few of them and then try them and see how that will work with your design i just want to add some shadow to this so you can see whatever i'm doing okay so this shadow i want it to go beneath my border or my shape so i will just select layer right click and then go to send backward like this so you can see this is going to appear beneath this i'll just do some few adjustments to that like this i'm just going to do some few adjustment to that you can actually reduce the size as well so if i do this you can see the way this is looking i'll just drag it down a bit so i'm just applying some shadow there are some effective one there are some that you can add that will make your design even better so i prefer to go with something like that. i think this one is quite lighter so i'll go with this one i'm just going to reduce the size of this and then i'll rather go with this I don't want it to be too visible so i'll go with this and then send to back like this so i'll just place it right here okay so i can see my have some light shadow on this now we can actually go ahead and then even change the background color you can change the background color you can see everything visible so i'll go ahead and then just actually give some background color for now we can come back and change this later on so now what we want to do is that we want to create a progress bar in this so let me just move this one we're going to play this one on top of the first one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring to front so this is going to be like this and then let's try to resize this one to fit into it okay so the movement is actually going to be inside this so i'll just take my time to just resize this like this you can actually zoom in on this whilst you work in order to make sure everything is well aligned so I think everything is perfectly aligned and we can just proceed from there so now we can I, I can remove this one back I can remove this and then I actually want to increase the opacity back I want to move it back to 100% like this okay that is perfect the ash color here if you want to move change to a different color 
you can actually do that from here so you can change the color from here so i prefer to go with something like this now what i want to do is that i want to just i just don't want to use this plain green like that if you look at what i have over here you can see i place in some arrows so we can do that you can just go to element and then search for arrow or image arrow you can even use shapes to do that so you can even use shapes to do that so you can go to shapes and i think you should be getting something like an arrow so i can use this to do that so you can just go and then pick this one and then just place it on top like this we are going to group this together but first we will change the color to white so just select this and then let's go here and then change the color to white so you're going to first change the color to white and then we'll create a duplicate okay so we change the color to white and what I want to do is I want to actually reduce the transparency a bit I don't want it to be too visible so something like this is okay and then I'm going to create a duplicate of that so just go ahead and create the duplicate just click on the plus icon and it's going to repeat the process until you get to the last part so I'm just going to go ahead and then do that and create some duplicate in my progress bar like that now I'm going to select everything and then I can group this together so I'm going to group this and then I'm going to bring it back here I'm going to bring it back here like that so remember we've already placed it on this and this is perfect okay so now we have everything here well aligned and we can place it in the middle right here now we're going to start with the animation part and it's quite going to be some very easy easy to do so now we're going to reduce this uh, the duration to about 0.2 seconds so we'll reduce this to about 0.2 seconds and that is what i'm going to do so just make sure 0.2 seconds should be enough so i think this is okay now now this is the trick now now what we want to do is we're actually going to duplicate this first go ahead and then duplicate this duplicate this and then when you duplicate this you have to first select the first one like this select the first one and then come to your design here and then make sure you resize everything but before you do that make sure you ungroup this remember we group everything so ungroup this and then just make sure you select your green background and then push it back a bit go back and then duplicate so you keep duplicating until you get to the later part so come here again and then select this select your green background and then push it back duplicate So I'm going to speed up the process. I have to do this until I'm done with everything. So the process is going to go like this and I'll do almost getting to more than one third of that you can select this and then change the color to probably an orange color so you can change this to orange color like this so you just have to continue the process like that so right click Okay, so when you have about one, one or two steps to finish, then you can change the color to red. Then you change the color to red like this. Okay, then you continue with the duplicate. 
you have to still duplicate this and then just reduce the progress bar in there like that and then then i'll do another duplicate and then this will be my final duplicate So with the final duplicate nothing will appear at all so i can remove this from there i can remove this from there like that now this is what is going to happen we can play this and see how it will look like so i'm going to play this so you see how it's going to appear wow so that is basically our progress bar is set now we first need to download this we have to download this you can change the background color if you want if you can download this just we have to download this so just go ahead and click on share and we're going to download this as video so go to download turn as mp4 which is video and then just click on download now this is the final video but we need to actually reverse the progress bar so it should actually start from the right to the left so when it's getting to the end then the red will show but if you look at what we have over here the red is actually showing before the green will come so we need to reverse this so we need to go to a website i'm going to leave the link at the description so go to this website that's clidio.com and then they have several tools that you can use and then let's go to tools option and then go to all tools and then when you scroll down there's one option called reverse audio so you're going to use this option to reverse our video so just go ahead and do that and now we're going to upload our video here so choose your file this is our video here i'll open this now this platform is actually going to reverse the video for us so it's actually going to reverse the progress bar so if i so after uploading it on this platform all you have to do is to go ahead and then export it so go to export how it will look like so you can see now it's moving from the right to the left and that is exactly what we want so you can go ahead and then download this so i'll just click on download and then this video will be downloaded onto my pc so i can open it and then we'll play our final video okay so after downloading this from clidio you can see now it's working perfectly so it's actually moving from the right to the left as expected so you can go back and then upload this video back to canva and then if you want to use it for other work you can just go ahead and do that if you enjoyed this video give me a thumb up like subscribe for more videos like this so you know the simple way to create a progress bar using canva till i come away again bye bye